All right, so today we're going over the derivative of a function. So uh, in this topic, there are a few things to note here. Um, always remember that uh, d over dx over a constant is always zero. So the derivative of a constant, like 26, 87, any number is a zero. And uh, e as well. e is also considered a constant. So e is around uh, 2.7 something. But uh, that is considered a constant. And also, the derivative of x is always 1. And uh, we're going to be going over tangent and normal lines. So a tangent line, uh, as you guys have seen, it's basically the derivative. Um, it is also just uh, the slope of an uh, instantaneous slope. And the normal line will just be the opposite of the tangent line. It will be perpendicular to the slope. And we're going to be going over power rule, which is basically... Um, so let's say x is to the nth power. When you, uh, in order to find the derivative using the power rule, you would move n to the front, multiply it by uh, the whole thing, and subtract n minus one. And one uh, good rule of thumb is that the derivative of e over x, e to the power of x, is always e x. All right. So let's start on with these questions. So for these, we just have to find the derivative. Uh, so for number three is four x plus seven. Which, uh, you know, if we find the derivative in respect to x, we could cross out the x here. The 7 is a constant. We would be left with 4. That would be uh, the answer of g prime. g prime x equals 4. And then g prime t for number 4. Uh, for this, we could cross out t. So we would be left with 5 plus 2 goes in the front, 8t. And then number five is f prime x is equals to, so for this 75, we just move it in the front. So we get 75 x, 75 minus one, which is 74. And then minus one because uh, x turns into a one. And then the constant gets uh, uh, removed. So number six is g prime x equals so uh x squared we'd move the two in the front so we get 14 over 4 which uh, if we simplify it that's 7 over 2 and then x minus 3 and the constant gets crossed out and number 7 is f prime of t which is equal to negative 2 e to the t power because uh, as we remember uh, e of x, e of t, same thing. So the derivative of e of t is just e, I mean, e uh, to t power is e to t power, and negative 2 stays here uh, because it's a coefficient. Number 8 is capital F prime function of t. Uh, so we have t cubed, which turns into 3t squared plus e to the third power which uh, you would think it's 3e squared, but since e to the third power is a constant, um, we could just get, let's say, e to the three powers, um, maybe like 10 point something. So 10 point something, we would uh, substitute it for e to the third power, in which this is a constant, so it gets crossed out. So our final answer is 3t squared. Number nine is w prime v so we're finding derivative in respect to v and here we just uh take the exponent and multiply it to the front so negative one point or rather 1.8 times negative 3 is negative 5.4 and then v and to the negative fourth exponent because we're doing negative 3 minus 1 on the top and then number 10 is r prime z. So we have z to the negative fifth power, which would be negative five z to the negative sixth power. And then minus z half, which would be, we'd take the half in the front and then we would subtract by one. So 0 0.5 subtract by one is negative, negative one half. Which, uh, if we rewrite this, 
in a, without negative exponents, we would get negative 5 over z6 minus 1 over 2 square root of z. So a lot of the times, uh, the questions will ask you to make sure uh, you don't leave the answer with any negative exponents, in which if a um, variable has a negative exponent, you want to move it to the bottom, and then the exponent becomes positive. All right, number 11 is f prime x. So here we have x to the 3 halves power, in which we just take the 3 half to the front, Subtract 3 half minus 1, which is 1 half, and then plus uh, negative 3x to the negative uh, 4 power. So if we want to just uh, rewrite this, we would do uh, we would do 3 radical x over 2 plus, or rather, um, yeah, we could do plus my uh, negative. 3 over x to the 4th power. So if you re rewrite it, that would be like what you want to have on your answer. All right, so let's try out these questions over here. So let's move on to 21. 21 is y equals 3 to the e to the power of x plus 4 over x to the 1 third power. So uh, for the first part, we could leave 3x as it is because uh, three the derivative of 3e over x or 3e to the power of x is 3e to the power of x. And then here, let's, uh, if we move to x to the top, we get 4 times x to the negative 1 third. So uh, we need to find the derivative of this, and then we can add it to that. So if we multiply negative 1 third in the front, that would be negative 4 over 3. And then 1 third minus 1 is negative 4 over 3. So our final answer, uh, if we were to just make sure you know it's written in a good form without negative exponents, we would do negative 4 over 3 uh, times x to the 3 fourths, or uh, 4 third power, never mind, 3. All right, so we would do negative 4 over 3 x to the fourth to the cube root, and that is your final answer. The number 22 is s uh, function of r, 4 pi r squared. So for this, we just moved the 2 to the front because we're uh, finding derivative in terms of r. So that would be 8 pi r. Number 23 is f of x, and then we have the uh, 3x squared plus x cubed over x. So what we could do is uh, kind of simplify before we find the derivative. So we would get 3x plus x2. Now if we find the derivative of this, uh, d, uh, d over dx, we would get 3 plus 2x. That's your final answer. Number 24 is cube root, of, I mean, uh, square root of x plus x over x squared. So if we uh, simplify this real quick, take out the denominator, we would get x to the 1 half divided by x squared, which gives us, uh, when we divide exponents, we subtract them. So that would give us x to the negative 3 halves. And then on the top, we would get x divided by x squared. That would give us 1 over x, or uh, x to the negative 1 power. We could also write that. Now, if we find the derivative of all of this, we would do negative 3 over 2 x to the negative 5 half. And that would uh, be minus x to the negative uh, second power. So uh, we could rewrite that real quick. So that would be negative 3 over 2. And then that would be x squared, x to the fifth power inside of here uh, under a square root. And that would be um, minus 1 over x squared. Losing, uh, running out of space here. 
So 25 is, uh, we could simplify it, you know, just as well as the other questions. Be 3R 1 half plus R to the 3 half. Now, if we find the derivative of that, we would uh, get 3 over 2 R to the negative 1 half plus 3 over 2 r to the one half power so that would be your answer for 25 you could also uh, uh write it in a form without the negative exponent 26 is g uh, function of t so we have 5t in parentheses to the half power plus Radical 7 over, um, oh no, not over, times t to the negative 1 half, or negative 1. So to find the derivative of this, we would uh, move the 1 half to the front. So we would get 2.5t to the negative 1 half, and then plus, here we would move the negative 1, multiply it by radical 7, which would give us negative radical 7 t to the negative second power that would be your final answer and uh, we could real quick just uh, write that in a good uh, form without negative exponents in which your answer would be 2.5 over square root of t minus radical 7 over t squared that would be your answer without any negative exponents. 27 is x to 2.4 power plus e to 2.4 power. So um, for x, we would move 2.4 to the front. x and then minus that 2.4 by 1, which would be 1.4. And then that would be alone because e to 2.4 power is a constant. Since e is a constant, so constants 0. So all, that would ultimately that be plus zero, uh, in which we'd just be left with this as our final answer. All right, so let's try these few questions over here. So for these, uh, we're gonna wanna find the derivative and then find the tangent line, equation of the tangent line rather. So we need to find the slope first and then we could find the uh, y, the y coordinate or the y um, part of the function. So we have 2x cubed minus x squared plus x plus uh, plus 2. So to find derivative, we'd multiply 3 times 2. That's 6x squared minus 2x. And then now we have the derivative function. So what we do is pl we plug in 1 for x. And if we plug in 1, we get 6 minus 2, which is 4. So we know that uh, the equation of the tangent line is 4x plus something we don't know what that something is we know that it goes through y uh, at uh, coordinate one comma three so we know um if we go to left one x value we go four down so that would be three minus four which is negative one so the um equation is four x minus one for the for number 37 let's try number 38 so number 38 is 2e to the power of x plus x so we know the derivative of 2ex is just 2ex ex uh der the derivative of that is e, uh, e uh, to the power of x plus x the derivative of x is 1 and now we plug in uh, 0 to e x so if we plug in 0, we get 2e to the 0 power plus 1. Anything to the 0 power is 1, so we get 2 plus 1, which is 3. And now we know that the equation is y equals 3x plus something. So uh, we know that since the, coordinate, since the line goes through coordinate 0, comma 2, uh, the y value of the equation is definitely 2. So your answer is 3x plus 2. Now 39 is x plus 2 over x. 
So if we rewrite it real quick, we'll get x plus 2 times x to the negative 1 power. So if we find the derivative of this, we get 1 plus negative 2 x to the negative 2 power. So if we rewrite it, we get 1 plus uh, 1 plus negative 2 x squared on the bottom. So this is the uh, derivative. Now we plug in 2, in which we'll get 1 plus negative 2 and then 2 squared. So 2 over 2 squared is 1 half, negative 1 half, 1 uh, plus negative 1 half is 1 half. So we know that the tangent line equation is y equals 1 half x. So if we go back to x values on this coordinate, uh, 2 times, if we plug in 2 for x, that's 1. 3 minus 1 is 2. So the uh, tangent line equation is y equals a half x plus 2. And then for number 40 is y equals x uh, to the 1 fourth power minus x. So if we find the derivative, we get or uh, x to the 1 fourth. Let's rewrite it like that, minus x. If we find the derivative, we get 1 fourth x to the negative 3 fourth power and minus 1. So if we rewrite it, we get um, 1 over 4 x to the 3 fourth power. Not a lot of space here, minus 1. So that's our uh, derivative function. Now we plug in 1 for x. Now if we plug in 1 for x, we get x uh, 1 to the third power. Uh, 1 to the 3 fourth power is 1 times 4. So we get 1 over 4 minus 1, which is negative 3 over 4. So we know a tangent line equation is about y equals negative 3 over 4 x. And now the y value would be, if we go back one x value, we put an x with a 1 for x. We go down, uh, or we go up actually 3 fourths. So that would be plus 3 fourths. So you can't really see it, but um, the tangent line equation for number 40 is y equals negative 3 over 4 times x plus 3 over 4. All right, so I want you guys to try these few questions here, and uh, so you could pause the video and try them out. All right, so let's take a look at number 12. Number 12 of v as a function of t equals uh t to a negative 3 fifth power plus t over 4. So uh, that's actually written in a good form for us so that we can find the derivative. So if we use the power rule, we get negative 3 over 5 t uh, times t. And then we subtract negative 3 over 5 minus 1, which is negative 8 over 5, and plus 4 t cubed. So that is our derivative. If we rewrite it um, in a nicer form, it would be negative 3 over 5 t to the 5 eighth power, and then plus 4 t cubed. So let me separate all this with the line. So at, uh, 13 is s as a function of t is 1 over t plus 1 over t squared. So we rewrite it, we get t negative 1, t over uh, to the power of negative 1, plus t to the power of negative 2. So if we uh, find the derivative, we get negative 1, t to the negative second power, minus 2t to the negative third power. And uh, if we rewrite that, we get negative 1 over t squared, minus negative 2 over t cubed. That would be your final answer right there. Number 14 is r as a function of t. a over t squared plus b over t uh, to the fourth power. 
So A and B are actually constants, so we could just keep that as it is. And also we're finding derivative in uh, respect to T, so we don't touch A and B, uh, really. So we know uh, if we rewrite it, we get A T to negative second power plus B T to negative fourth power. So we find the derivative of that, we get negative 2a t to negative third power minus uh, 4bt to negative fifth power. Now if we rewrite that without negative exponents, we get negative 2a over t cubed and then minus 4b over t to the fifth power. Now number 15 is 2x plus radical x. So if we rewrite that, we get 2x plus x to the half power. So we find the derivative of that, we get 2 plus half x to the negative 1 half power. Let's rewrite that. That's 2 plus 1 over 2 radical x that would be your final answer now number 16 is h as a function of w uh square root of 2 times w minus uh square root of 2 so when we find the derivative of this we can actually forget about the constant negative 2 because it doesn't matter to us so we get radical 2 uh w so we find the derivative of that that would be w, uh, the power of that would go to zero, so we would be left with radical two as our final answer. Now number 17 is g as a function of x, one over radical x plus x to one fourth power. So if you rewrite that, we get x to the negative half power plus x to the one fourth. So we find the derivative of that, we get negative one half x to negative three uh three half power plus one fourth x to negative three fourths power. So if we rewrite that we get negative one over two x squared to the cube root plus one over 4 x to the third power to the fourth root and that would be your final answer so for number 18 is radical t, t uh, minus 2e to t power so that would be t to a half power if we re rewrite it minus 2e to t power so t to the half power if we find the derivative that's one half t negative one half power minus two e t since e to the power of t uh the derivative of that is just e to the power of t so if we simplify or rather rewrite it we get one over two uh square root of t minus two e to the power of t so now number 19 is f as a fun f of x equals x cubed uh, in parentheses x plus 3. So first we can multiply this out. We get x to the fourth power plus 3 cubed, 3x three cubed. So now we find the derivative, which is 4x cubed plus 9x squared. And that would be your final answer. Now number 20. Number 20 is capital F as a function of t. 2t minus 3 squared. So 2t minus or 2t uh, minus 3 times 2t 3, 2 minus 3. So if we multiply that out, we get 4t squared minus 12t plus 9. So we find the derivative of that, we get 8t minus 12. That would be your final answer. All right, guys. So I want you guys to try uh, number 35 and 36. So for these, we're finding the derivative respect to x. 
and once in respect to a t. So you can see these have two variables. In one of them, you'll treat x as a variable and t as a constant, and the other, you'll treat x as a constant and t as a variable. So try that out. All right, so let's take a look at number 35. Number 35 is y equals tx squared plus t cubed uh, times x. So let's do d over dx first. Uh, tx squared plus t to the cube times x. Uh, hold on, let me change something. Okay. So if we say, uh, simplify that kind of, or I mean find the derivative in respect to x, uh, we would move the t to the front, and for this we would just remove the t because uh, the power of x would turn to zero. So that would be 2tx, and that uh, plus t to the third power, and uh, of course x wouldn't be there. Now let me make this that multiplication symbol so it's not confusing. So that would be your d over dx. And d over dy is in respect to y. So we'd have tx squared again plus t cubed times x. So now uh, for the first part, tx squared, we the uh, power of t would go to zero. So we'd have x squared. And then we move the three to the front plus 3t squared plus, uh, I mean, times x. So, uh, oh yeah, this is a plus, my bad. Oh yeah, apologies for the big uh, writing here. It's, I think, because I zoomed in uh, in the whole picture too much. But now let's move on to 36. y equals t over x squared plus x over t. So the d over dx of this would be... Um, Let's rewrite this real quick, actually. So we have tx to the negative uh, second power plus xt to the negative first power. That's a lot easier. So now d over dx would be, in respect to x, we'd uh, use a power rule, which would be, or rather, uh, negative 2 dx to the negative third power and we uh minus or actually plus t to the negative one power because this x would be gone now if we rewrite that we would get negative 2t on the top over x cubed plus one over t and then let's find d over dy which would be in terms of uh i mean no d over dt uh, i wrote d over dy all of them dy d over dt uh which would be in respect to t so basically e would be gone in the first thing so we would be left with x to a negative second power and then this is x t to the negative first power so we would have minus 1x t to the negative second power. So if we write that in uh, a form without negative exponents, we'd have 1 over x squared minus x over t squared. And that is your answer for number 35 and 36. All right, so I want you guys to try number 41 and 42. So for these two, uh, you want to find the equation of the tangent line and the normal line. So remember how we talked about a normal line is uh, perpendicular to a tangent line. So you got to remember that when you do them. So you can pause the video and try them out. All right, so first, let's uh, find the derivative of both of these equations. So y equals x to the uh, fourth power plus 2ex. 
So derivative of that would be 4x to the third power plus 2ex. And then for 41, we have y squared equals 3 uh, x3 three over uh, x to the power of 3 over 2. So for this, we need to get a y by itself. So we uh, square root it. Or we could also multiply it by 1 half. So 3 times uh, 3 halves, if you square root it, you get y equals 3 over 4. Because it would be 3 half times 1 half which is uh, 3 over 4. So for this derivative, we have y equals x to the 3 fourth power. So now that we have the derivatives, we can um, figure this out. So we got to plug in 0 to this equation, this derivative equation, to find the slope of the tangent line. And then we'll uh, make the slope of the normal line. So we plug in 0, we get 0 in this thing. And then... So before 0 to the 3rd power plus 2e to the 0th power. So this would be just 0. And then e to the 0 power is 1 times 2, which is equals to 2. So we know the norm tangent line slope is 2x, which means that normal line, let's say uh, normal is n equals. So normal line is uh, opposite perpendicular so a perpendicular um the 2x would be negative half x it would be the reciprocal and the opposite sign so we know those slopes and now uh let's find the y values so let's do plus so actually the y value since they both go through uh zero comma two the y value of both would be two so these are your answers for 41. And now 42, uh, we want to plug in 1 into x over here. So if we plug in 1, we get 1 to the third power over 4, which is uh, just 1. So equals 1. And then now we know that the slope of the tangent line is x. And the slope of the normal line, it would be the reciprocal of 1, which would be negative x. And now we would need to find the y values, which uh, since it goes through 1, uh, at x value of 1, for this um, would be 0. Because since it's going up by 1, at the x value of 1, at the x value of 0, it must go down 1, which uh, 1 minus 1 would be 0. And now this goes down by a factor of 1 for every x value. So from 1 to 0 in reverse, we go up 1 value, which would be 2. So y equals x, and then n equals negative x plus 2 would be your tangent and normal line equations for 42. All right, guys, so I hope you guys um, understood the derivative uh, as a function topic, essentially. So, uh, you know, what derivatives to know, you know, e of x, e to the power of x is always e to the power of x. And then how to use the power rule, uh, normal lines and tangent lines, as well as um, how to find derivative of negative uh, exponents as well as how to uh, rewrite them, because a lot of the time tests and uh, homeworks will tell you to write them in a way that, uh, you know, x negative 2 will tell you to write it in a way where there's no negative exponents, in which you need to know that in order to make a negative exponent positive, move it to the bottom of a fraction or a denominator. So uh, yeah, it's basically it.